Hi everyone, Syrian girl here. In the last few days, a photo emerged of the insurgents unpacking boxes of gas masks. If you notice, some of the gas masks are in the US style M42A1 and not in the Russian style, which means that they could have only come from outside of Syria. This adds credence to the potential chemical weapons false flag event that many bloggers have been writing about. That is, that NATO plans to use chemical weapons in Syria via the insurgents and accuse the Syrian military of doing this in order to create some sort of causes belly for foreign intervention. Some time ago, the Blogspot Land Destroyer actually posted images of the insurgents donning the gas masks, and even RT reported about the potential for a chemical weapons false flag operation. In the last month, there has been a lot of news and accusation coming out of the mainstream media, claiming that Syria might use chemical weapons against its own people in a bid for the government to stay in power. In fact, just a few hours ago, at the UN General Assembly, the Israeli ambassador to the UN, Ron Prosser, demanded that the Syrian government lock down its chemical weapons and said, quote, We should not pretend that a regime that cuts the throats of children today will not be prepared to gas them tomorrow. Again, he alludes to the notion that the Syrian government might use chemical weapons on its own people, clearly a sign that they are planning some sort of a false flag event. This is in order to create a causes belly of attack against Syria by NATO powers, in the same way that the WMDs were used in Iraq. There's also been some claims that NATO and Israel are afraid of the chemical weapons getting into the 